State Esports Arena. Tonight we have Valorant ECAC Week 1. We are super hyped to get right into these qualifiers and right into all of the Valorant action here tonight. And Boise State had a pretty great record last match, so we're expect we have a couple new players that'll shake things up a little bit, but we're still expecting to do pretty well. We're looking to kind of have a strong showing. I'm your host, Colby D'Angelo Alloway, and joining me to call all of the Valorant action is Colin Risky McJunkin. So Colin, because you know a little bit more about this mm -hmm. whole what we're trying to do in the qualifiers, walk me through what teams want to accomplish. What are the goals week one? Well, the big goal, the big picture goal is obviously winning the whole thing, right? You want to get <laughs> as far as you can, but I think we have a couple of smaller goals that we'd like to talk about of mainly just uh, keeping your composure and mental state. It can be very uh, easy, especially very early on in any qualifiers in any game to, you know, stomp out some easier teams and then get on this high horse and then stroll along and eventually be taken down. So I think the the key part of that is, you know, pick apart these teams, figure out what you can, improve what you can mechanically and as a team, but ultimately walk forward away with, all right, that's a W. We're going to move on. We're going to keep going forward and we're keep getting better here. Keep your high horse mm -hmm. in the stable. Very, exactly. very important. And is there anything else you'd like to add more specifically? Uh, to our team-wise, I know we have three new players here. I believe Jay Bag is the only veteran player who's been in the ACAC before. Uh, I believe we have Skies that was here last semester but wasn't uh, qualified to play in ECAC. And then we have Damio and Ririana. Uh, two new players to that, so excited to see how those guys go. I think they integrate very well in our team comp, and I'm excited to see what we end up doing here. We're definitely looking to like kind of see some new Boise State play styles and uh -huh. things like that. ECAC, Collegiate Valorant, it is a 5v5, best of three, first to 13, and it swaps after the 12th round. Now, we've definitely seen some really long-winded overtime oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. maps here in Valorant oh, yeah. at the Boise State Arena. Are you expecting to see anything like that with uh, Boise State versus Albany? Not tonight, no. I think from the research and from what I know about Albany, I think Boise State has a pretty strong chance to just take it all the way here. I think there will be some struggle. There will be some back and forth, but I don't think we'll be getting into, like, you know, double overtime games here tonight. And do you want to talk a little bit about the record Boise State has that makes you think that we're not getting into double overtime tonight? Uh, we did pretty strong in CAC last, last semester. I believe we made it all the way to the semis, mm -hmm. uh, just off the top of my head. So... You know, we're pretty strong here, and uh, from what our players know, I know our players feel very confident going against Albany as well. So if they're confident, I'm confident, and uh, I think we're expecting a good dub here today. And we're just here to bring the dub. Fantastic. But, again, you just have to make sure you're not getting up on that high horse. But in terms of play style, we do have Doc's keys to the game, which will help the players kind of get that dub. We don't have anything for mental, though. Doc's keys to the game in Valorant are to focus angles and flank, know your win condition, count cards slash call abilities, and click heads. And Doc's Keys to the Game are brought to us by Drop In Gaming. Drop In Gaming is a premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through free and paid entry matches and tournaments. Whether you are new to the scene or a seasoned veteran, Drop In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. To begin your competitive gaming journey, sign up at dropingaming.com. So as we get in, <laughs> you see that we have a pretty full house here tonight. What would you say the energy in arena is kind of like right now? I think it's, yeah, it's feeling good. Oh, the, the immediate call and response we have there. Yeah, just from that, they're feeling good. They're feeling great. I think the energy is hype here in, uh, on desk, and I think production is feeling well in there. I saw a little bit of them in the intro. So I think the energy here is good. You know, we're, we're, on, that, we're on a good vibe, you know rolling streak right now, especially with, uh, I believe it was Valorant that made it uh, into the Red Bull Clutch, actually. Definitely. Which, which is an event they get to go overseas for. So I think they're feeling absolutely great on top of the world right now. And, you know, like I said, talk about the high horse, but, you know, let's see how they translate that into the ECAC tournament. Well, there's a difference between, you know, getting on a high horse yeah. and being uppity, mm -hmm. but also, or which is what Boise State's doing, just feeling proud of yourself oh, right yeah. now. No, yeah. We definitely want to be proud, right? Boise mm -hmm. State is going in this with our heads held high. We're going to show Albany what we can do. But, I mean, you don't want to be disrespectful. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. You definitely want to give it your all 100% of the time. And I think, I think yeah, I like your point there. You know, there's a, there's a fine line between being confident and being proud. I like that. So, are there any specific agents that pop out at you on Bind? 
Uh, on bind here, no, not really. I did see uh, Damio hovering over that fade, uh, which is a character that I really do enjoy and think in a in very well organized team lineups does very well. But that Sky is also a great pick here going to bind. Uh, no, I think Skies is a very well known uh, jet and chamber main here, and Riviana on that Viper is a very common one that we've seen ar around Alderman on Rays. Also, I believe it was last week we also had. Uh, on Rays there in that J-Bag um, Brim. Brim combo is always going to be deadly there. But and what is so deadly about that combo? The way they pray Brim. Uh, you know, you have that Viper and you have the you have the Brim. So you have a certain level of control with both those characters over the map, with both having mollies and both having smoke out abilities. So they should be able to exert a lot of control uh, over each point or over a single point uh, on a retake on attack. I do like that. Skies, we kind of see the callback to all of the mm -hmm. jet that they have been playing because, I mean, that's what we've seen the most of from there. However, so both teams have the Viper, but there is a significant amount of variance between the two teams. Do you want to talk about what any of those agents bring to the table? I did see a, a KO and a... Um, well, I am blank. I am blanking on the name. Uh, Mr. Uh, our Siberian Archerman. Sova? Sova, yes. Thank you for that update. <laughs> wow, I was completely <laughs> blanking on that. Uh, those two mix up, you know, those aren't super uncommon. I know that KO is pretty uncommon on Bind, but KO is sort of that jack of all trades initiator. You can throw him in any map and he's going to be good. The pop flashes are great, and that ultimate that just denies, denies everyone else an ability is always going to be prevalent in any game you play when there's a character that shuts down the other team's Definitely. abilities. It's going to be present. So. I don't think there's anything that really throws me off here. Uh, I think both comps look solid, but, you know, it, it's more or less on those characters don't mean anything unless the players that are playing them end up doing something with it. Tef, definitely understandable. And we did have a DC, so we are kind of re-going back in, which is why you're seeing this screen again with the Sova and the Killjoy. That is something else that's different between these two yeah. teams. Do you want to talk about her at all? I was actually just about to point that out that I didn't realize first time around. Um, KJ is sort of uh, an interesting one. I didn't think I'd see anyone play KJ after uh, if you watch VCT's the exit match. Just KJ is such uh, uh, an interesting character. I definitely think you have better Sentinels. Sage and, and Chamber do her job a little bit better. But I could be wrong here. Leo could be an, an amazing KJ player and prove me absolutely wrong. But we have yet to see until we get into that game. But just for now, you're liking the chamber pick more than you're liking yeah, the yeah. Killjoy pick. I would like to see a chamber pick on that side rather than a Killjoy pick. Yes. Yeah. However, it is for the side of all so maybe that might play to Boise State's advantage unless mm -hmm. they're a Killjoy god. Yeah, which is exactly yeah. We say we can talk we can talk as much trash as we want a certain character and how they play, but you know, ultimately at the end of the day, it's not until they shock you because they know every ins and out, Molly lineups, turret placements, know where to put the shutdown. It's ah uh, yeah. Which that ultimate is very big, I yes. will say. KJ does have that, especially on attack and defense. And so it does look like they might be playing that KJ for the ultimate. We might expect some ultimate rotation there. They currently are the one with the spike, so we'll see what they're trying to do there. It looks like, do you think A or B is going to be the more solid push point <laughs> here? We definitely have a, uh, a weak side B here hold, but it... Yeah, I've seen nobody's holding long B side. We are pretty impressive. Oh, both of black. Oh, it's gonna get pick up two. Not gonna get ooh, but the trade is going to be there. But now they have sight though. We should have a rotate going on here. They don't quite know they're on sight yet. Ririana's is gonna peek, doesn't find KO. Went to Obo. Make a little bit of noise though. No one currently on site. Oh, oh. No. Remaining. is going to pick that up, so the trade comes out. It does look like that Viper smoke wall is going to go up. It looks like that last remaining member of Albany. What should be their strategy? Uh, first round, you know, get as many picks as you can. You know, that first round. Ooh. Almost. Does get Rerion. I believe that was a dink. Believe that right oh, it's going to take out Skies. Rerion is low, and J-Bag is the only one here full health. Does have 45, no util. It's gonna hold that angle, get smoked off. They do have spike, so they don't need to push. They don't need to do anything crazy here. They can just sit here and sit back and, you know, let this player walk left. into their death. 
And because Fartville is in such an advantageous position, like, he knows where Boise State is coming from here. No, Ooh. he got too aggressive. Should have just stayed on the point there. Had the advantage there, making them come to you, but then got aggressive two versus one. Didn't end up working out there. Oh, wow. Do you think this puts Boise State in a beneficial position at all? Uh, it's first round, so, you know, we're, we're kind of, it's a little bit of a momentum game, but I won't I won't start saying anything until we, and unless we get a 3-0 situation here. Uh, it's a buy round for Boise State, and Albany should be saving here. So, really, Albany is just going for any amount of picks they can at the cheapest state they can get it. So, and right here was actually really funny, because they, they both are flashing, I had no idea. There were a lot of one-taps in this round, so I will say that. Which is always nice to see mm -hmm. the mechanical skill level of the players going into here. It looks like this is going, they're going for an A push. Oh, 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 gonna go down. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, One BSU coming out. Remaining. Up four, three four. Strong eight. out showing. Now there is just that Sova. And I, they're kind of cornered. And this looks like they're going to be able to do a whole lot, especially oh. as the remaining members of Boise State kind of collapse onto them. Oh. Nope. Yeah, flawless wow. victory. Now, I know I asked about what round one means for Boise State, but now after a flawless round two, what do you think that? A uh, bigger chance for Albany to come back here. Albany should be buying. Yeah, we see that the three Vandals coming out. Everyone else should be buying Vandals. Um, I do say that I do want to say that was a smart purchase on two of the Boise State members for buying uh, for buying the shotguns because they probably knew based off of what they got until last time that they five men pushed B, they're probably going, all right, whatever site they're going to be on as well, they only have pistols, I can buy a shot and be pretty safe here. Definitely, so kind of withholding, not getting to those higher tiers because they know all they're going against is pistols. That drone is going to go down first. There's the Viper wall kind of denying some sight lines. Rihanna's going to fall back and look for a wider sight angle on the rest of point. Skies is in this hallway. Neither team has really found each other just yet. Audubon's on a flank here, might catch one. There's two for Damian Allen. There's two for Audubon. And the entirety of, of Albany gets one though, but is quickly traded out. And yeah, round three, no win for Albany. This is, this is where I'm starting to expect that a lot of the momentum is gonna start favoring Boise State side. It's gonna take another two rounds before Albany has a chance to buy and get back in the game. So these next two rounds, Boise State just needs to not play, you know, cocky. We were talking yep. about keep the high horse in the stable. Mm -hmm. Definitely do that here because up three rounds is enough to build some momentum. I love that penguin dab spray, by the way. I just, <laughs> just as an aside, I love it so much. It's a great one. I think uh, it's also big to not, not die close to the enemy or not give up those vandals because you do know they're at a gun disadvantage. Here, so dying really close to them. How do you know this box is not? Far is going to get wall bank. J Bag also picking one there and Rihanna one getting another. Remaining. This is on Leo. Ooh. Just so much action happening on A. They weren't even really able to effectively push on a site here. And uh, that's just what Boise is gonna do to this team right here. So at this point, with every round that goes on, we're kind of getting more and more snowballing right now. Yeah. That was one round that Albany couldn't have bought, and the next round they also need to hold. So Boise State, I mean, they can afford to be very aggressive. They have the better equipment going in. Mm -hmm. And it's also just the way they're playing as well. They're not they're they're five stack pushing a site with very little util to clear corners and push Boise State out. Uh, this is the first time we see them separate and not do five stack. Jim actually sitting up there, tail. They're gonna pick up one on the bill. Discovered nothing there, but Sky is gonna pick up two there. Fantastic job. We really see Sky coming alive on that chamber there. Now, where do you think the next engagement is gonna happen? On Sky's right now. That spike right there. 26 health has to be careful. Not in portal range here. Enemy oh. oh you know what? Four piece. <laughs> It was really nice, though, that 26 HP, you still managed to take somebody oh, else man. out, and they're not in any position to take any of Sky's equipment. So. That was BM right there of, of ulting the single player that clearly didn't need to be ulted, but hey, you know, whatever secures the kill. Or, you know, I. So maybe it was BM. Maybe it was a mispress. It is the early season, so we yeah. are going to kind of get some of those, like, mispresses, panic ults, things like that. Demoralizing the enemy team. <laughs> Calculated. Calculated. Tactical. <laughs> because, you know, the 5-0 just wasn't doing that 
clearly enough. So we've talked a lot about how Boise State has been set up for success. Is there anything Albany can do to turn this around? Oh, not bad. Not with Sky's and out though. The knife did not pick up. Audubon's going to pick up one as well. They're cornered here, picking up two. Rihanna's going to pick up one. The last one, the nade goes out. Not going to be able to do anything about it. Pushing Rihanna, and there it goes down. And, ah, getting out of here. Getting out of this stage of Boise State is so confident right now. Almost, almost baiting them, right? They're five stacking a site. They're going into it. They're not using, at this point, you just need to buy util and use it. Like, you need to be spamming you two out the gate because you just need to get one round here to keep your momentum going. Like, this, we have an uneven level buy here. We have one pistol, one with, the, uh, one with an SMG. At this point, it's probably better to just lose as a team this round and have a chance to go into it with everyone with the gun. Because now, next round, if they do the same thing, only two people are going to have the ability to get a gun. So you think Albany's maybe not playing as much as a team. They're trying to do stuff more individually, especially buying. They're not coordinating, waiting, or anything like that. Yeah, I think I think they think they're playing as a team, but in reality, uh, BSU playing as well just ultimately just almost guess exactly where they were. And they don't rotate here too much. The ult popping out very early. Not even on site or close to it. Damn, he's going to pick up one. Sigging TP here, pops out, is gonna get Bill. Has the judge, can get more, Sorry, gets kid. two. Has the possibility to get three here if it peaks. Thinking about it. Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna go ahead and get that three piece. J-Bag kinda carrying with that flawless mm. three piece there. The judge carry is, uh, it's happening right here. And a new skin too. Man. Definitely showing that off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's no other, no other reason to rock the judge besides showing off the skin. And what an amazing skin, and got the three-piece, so surely we'll find its way onto one of our highlight reels tonight. Hopefully. Top five. Top five? I'd say top five, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Albany thinks, the think, they think they're playing as a team right now, but in reality, when Boise State is split up like this, they're being way more effective because they're getting those ones, those two picks that are much more effective, and to be honest, just going to get in there, Albany getting one, getting... Absolutely pinched here. Rihanna getting the triple here. It just, it, it, it's looking unfair now. It's so looking unfair. Here's the thing. Talking about playing together as a team. Just because you're close together mm -hmm. or far apart does not mean that you are or are not playing as a team yep. together. One of the very important things to do in Valorant and really most first person shooters is you need to play split enough from each other so that you have the maximum amount of information possible, but you don't want anybody to be too far out of help's range, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And even if you're all together, if you're not helping each other, it's kind of worthless to be that close. There's this level of, of tandem that you can play with each other or they pop the ulti. I think they're trying to bait here. I think, And I think Boy State knows this is a bait. There's no reason to sit inside of this smoke. Oh, not going to clear a right. <gasps> going to get picked off. Deserve that a little bit, not going to lie. You always have to check your right and left before you Ooh. go through. Rubiana's going to get a trade, which leaves Boise State in a disadvantageous position. Down one. This might 8 0. This might be the comeback that Albany is looking for. They're up in numbers, so they just need to trade out at this point, and they end up winning here. Boise State split. Sky is playing dangerous into this. Uh, into this Viper's Pit here. Might catch a time and oh, Doesn't! Not quite. And just being decayed that much is Fire such a big missile. thing. Oh, here comes out the rocket launcher. Damn you, hiding in the showers. Oh! JPEG is gonna catch one. Hey, Able to catch two. Wow, JPEG's coming in with that carry. We saw several members of Boise State be, you know, a little too aggressive, but now this is even. 30 seconds left. 2v2. They evened out, and now effective one 1v1, remaining. and Damio is going to get that 1v1. Nobody quite there. J-Bag is uh, Spidey Senses here, only 21 health. For the enemy raise, Rizai. Maybe that's how you say it. It looks like they know they're at a disadvantage. Ten so they're not left. trying to peek anything. I think they know J-Bag is back there, too. They're just waiting Put for him to catch. Oh. 21 health is, it, that's very tough. And I get the effort to hold the off angle perhaps, but you know J-Bag has a, has a judge 
and there's no point holding an off angle with a gun that has spread. Right? Definitely. You know, so they have the advantage. I, I like the uh, the creativity to just throw the Viper's Pit in uh, in uh, CT, but didn't quite end up working out. And that's what I'm talking about. The effectiveness of Boy State's players are currently higher as an individual rating mm -hmm. than Albany's player. So we're seeing a lot of individual ability usage that's getting more value yes. from Boise State. Yep. Whereas a team that is equal, it comes down to who's playing Ooh. better as a team. Wow. I got to say, this guys is peeking some of these angles, and I think they're maybe toned down the aggression just a little bit. Oh, Amio picking up Daniel, two. Wow, fantastic job there with that double elimination there. Boise State now up one, even though we did go down one first, Ooh. now up two. Three. Oh. We're just, we just keep going. Down now we just need to hunt down the soul, Sova. Might catch JBEG off guard. Oh, a little confused. Didn't know they went to the TP. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Was it completely ready for it there? Being at six health, you might have gotten that, uh, might have gotten the kill if JBEG wasn't at full HP and you were at six, but it's unfortunate. Uh, Boise well, now 10-0. This is this is looking to be uh, one of the first 13 O's I've seen at the collegiate level in a in a while. When you're going from 6 HP to 100 HP, mm -hmm. there's usually not anything that you can do against somebody with full HP unless you have a one shot ability. Yes. If you're 6 to 100, no BM for losing that, mm -hmm. unless you have something that can just insta KO somebody. Yeah. Because you know that's all it's going to take to insta KO you. Ooh. Looks like Damio's going to start off strong on this guy. He's doing a fantastic job, it looks like, as we go in. Now, Aldim is the one getting all of the eliminations. They're playing well, and they definitely know how to adapt to this team and the way they're playing. Notice that, uh... Oh! There was a dink there, but unfortunately, it uh, gets stingered, honestly. That's just the gun for it. Last round That's when Doc's half. keys to the game, clicking heads, would have been helpful there, yes. I would have said. Yeah. I would say against Sky. But that's what I was saying. Just get the stinger is just it's either it's either a weapon that is in somebody's hands and is godlike, or is <laughs> in the majority of the players' hands that is horrible. Horrible. <laughs> so, you know, that's 950 credits wasted right there, you know. So maybe we'll see more of that at the higher level of collegiate play. So, like, once we get past the qualifiers and get into the semifinals and the finals, then we'll start seeing some of those godlike Launching stinger smoke. plays. But yeah. as for right now, not looking too good. Ooh, the Odins are just opening fire here. Smoke off and everything. Going to use some satchels. Pop out. Who's the rocket? Oh, Mike caught off guard. This guy stays back up. They're coming out the flash. He's double flash. Yami with the shorty pushing up is going to get one. There's one more that's there. Are they aware they are? Going to get one, but yeah. that's the order for you. Never reload. Just keep going. Not quite of the flawless victory that Boise State was looking for. Though I will say Sky is going in on the solo enemy. Like, as long as you're not all lucky in on a straight line, you know you're going to get them. So I think that was a fair amount of aggression from Boise State. Yeah, that was... That was Understandable. fair. Understandable. Yeah, that was fair for them to do. And I'm, I'm expecting the same. I think we have five 40s here. I know I see three. Oh, no, we see the ghosts. We see two ghosts. Okay, so they were, they were trolling for a second. I'm like, yeah. Looks like they're going to they're gonna do a split push with A being the, uh, the strong side. And they're attacking the right way. They're attacking the, the weak side for Albany as well. What would you say the weak side is for Albany? Uh, it's just the, the concept of your strong side and weak side is typically what numbers advantage. Because there's two points, you, can, you can't you can evenly distribute people throughout the two points. So you call the weak side the, the defending side that has the least amount of members on it. Definitely. So it does look like they are going to win that 1v1 there in the hallway, kind of waiting for somebody else to show themselves. But little do they know there's not really anybody in that hallway right now. It actually does look like they do know, kind of like looking around here. Where do you think this next engagement is going to happen? Spike On planted. A here, Ririana is going to get one. His eye was low, and it, it's just they're falling like stones now at this point. Boise State with the uh, with the ghost is absolutely deadly. You talk about that that one shot yeah, potential. Putting a ghost in each one of these players' hands is that one shot potential. And they've definitely worked really, really hard and snowballed a lot to get to this point. Oh, no. Well, that's enough. 
Attackers yeah, with win. the four man advantage, yeah, you you expect to be rushed like that. So, Boise State Esports did a fantastic job there, but we're always looking for talented players, production, and broadcasters. Top talent, along with good grades and eligibility, can earn scholarships as well. Sign up today by visiting boisestate.edu slash esports for more information. Thoughts on that first map? before we go to our first break of the night. We still do have two more maps here. Albany isn't out of this yet, but they need to mm -hmm. make some pretty significant changes if they want to go against Boise State. What do you think those are? Uh, you know, the the split in of itself is, is, is a really important factor. Perhaps not five-man pushing every site. And like I said before, five-man pushing is okay, but you, when you five-man push that, you kind of want to spread out a little bit. You at least want to be attacking two different angles at the very least. And they know at this if they know Boyd State is going to be very, very aggressive off the bat with them. So they need to be using that util as sort of as that as that buffer zone. They need to get away. They need to separate themselves because if they don't, they know maybe from what we've seen, Boyd State is clicking heads a little better than they are. So. You know, if you can't compete with that, use your teamwork, use your util to compensate for that. Definitely so. We're going to be looking for more teamwork. We need to see more angles than one. Those yeah. are the two tips that we can offer Albany right now, right before we go to break. Protecting your customer journey from fraud is critical. According to industry analysts, Count's AI-driven platform is the leading solution. From account login to digital payments, Count is recognized for both its customer impact and technology excellence. Learn more at count.com. NationalGuard.com to begin your guard adventure. Sports Arena. This is still Valorant ECAC Week One for the 2022 season. This is still Boise State versus Albany. Boise State up one. We're feeling really good. We were hyped oh, yeah. at the beginning of the night, but now we are extra amazingly on top of it. Hype now. Just like Risky warned us about earlier, we do need to make sure that we're not two on our high horse, two uppity there. I'm your host, Colby D'Angelo Alloway, and joining me for all of that amazing analysis is Colin Riskin McJunkin. So we've talked a little bit about the mental state. I think we could use a little bit of a re-reminder 
after that hard roll. Yeah, in terms of, yeah, 13-0, is, uh, it's going to be tough for any team. And obviously, Boise State was the one that 13-0, uh, if you didn't catch that. But I think in terms of Albany, a uh, mental reset, go at it at a different <laughs> angle. You know, ah, I don't know. There's not, mu there's not much I can offer to, uh, to that. I'm hoping it's just bind is a bad map for them. But, you know, we're going to – we'll be lucky to see what they could do for us next map. And, you know, we do also do have docs, keys to the game, which are not just helpful for Boise State. They are also helpful to Albany in this case. And docs, keys to the game in Valorant are to focus angles and flank, know your win condition, count cards slash call abilities, and to click heads. And docs, keys to the game are brought to us by Drop In Gaming. Drop In Gaming is the premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through free and paid entry matches and tournaments. Whether you are new to the scene or or a seasoned veteran, Drop-In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. To begin your competitive gaming journey, sign up at dropingaming.com. Now, the first of those keys that I would like to highlight before we go into this next map is they really need to flank more, uh -huh. right? We talked about them needing to cover more, angle than, more angles than just the one. Because when you're only covering one angle, but you're also losing the 1v1, the one angle that you're covering, you're not even doing that so great. So it's better to have more options. You need to come at Boise State in ways that they don't expect. And especially after route, route map one on bind, I don't think Boise State is really ready for any flanks and their aggression level might be in a perfect position for mm -hmm. Albany to take advantage of this. I did like when they uh, when they Viper ulted in their, in their spawn in CT and they kind of just sat there as a team. They did get the numbers advantage at one point. They did get a 2v2, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is the first time they did that in the entire of the match. So perhaps doing that more and frequently can can give them the ability to secure more rounds, which can end up catching Boise State off guard and kind of be the underdog story of you, you have a chance to end up taking the top as well. Because Albany definitely did bait Boise State in that, mm -hmm. and Boise State walked into it. They're like, oh, we're ready. They Viper ulted in their spawn. Maybe they did that on accident. Absolutely not. Members of Boise State <laughs> dropped to that. We're trying to bait them out. So that's all the advice that we have before we get into this next map, Boise State versus Albany. This is a best of three, so this will be the map that if Albany wants to come back, they're going to have to do something now. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, they're gonna have to. And fracture, fracture is actually one of my favorite maps to play Omen on, which you don't see a lot at a at a very high tier level of gameplay. Uh, I just find them fun in that case. But we do see uh, uh, skies on Euro, Riviana on a uh, Jet, J Bag on Reyna, Damio on Phoenix, which is now not not a not a meme character. We have to put some respect on a uh, on Phoenix's name. Uh, those pop flashes are just absolutely deadly now. But I think Boise State is uh, doing a common theme of switching up their roles here, putting themselves in a in a little bit different situation. At the moment. And it does do well to get these players kind of some practice in some roles and on some agents that they aren't usually accustomed to playing. But it does also give Albany a bit of an advantage. Boise State is kind of uncomfortable in their hero picks. Oh, oh yeah, no, I think I think perhaps underestimating Albany a little bit, but it's also Boise through. State's individual level is, uh, from what we saw last game, is just generally higher than what Albany's prepared for. So to see that going forward, I'm excited to see how Albany is going to counter this what chance they stand against the uh, new and improved Boise State. It does kind of look like Leo might be kind of caught out there. Oh. No, absolutely not. Leo's going to get that first elimination there. Boise State is still up to, however. One enemy remaining. Three and one, J-Bag. Down to the last member for Albany and not going to be able to control the spray of the ghost. And there it goes down. They did get one. They, did get, they got the Phoenix, that surprise uh, shorty play. Was uh, I think it's I think uh, it surprised both of us really. They covered more angles than Boise State was ready for. Like they were both going into there and then just right around that corner, bop, sent him down. Which is what they probably need to do. They probably need to play a little, a little unfair. They need to play those cl close angles of the shorty and uh, hope that Boise State th Boise State doesn't have much uh, angle clear. Ability. They have a lot of flash potential here, but they don't have, uh, besides Phoenix, they don't have any real way to clear an angle. I definitely also will say it's not necessarily unfair 
either. Because, I mean, you know, it's in the game for them to use. It looks like they're not going to be able to, to great effect for th thought there. Not happening. J-Bag is planting the spike. And at this point, Albany's just no, trying to get on to try to defend. The teams know where each other are, but Boise State, I think, is much more ready for this engagement. My God, Bill is going to get it. It's a three-piece coming up to Damio. You're right. A better word I could have said was, was, was play dirty, I guess. I guess that's what you could. I mean, which even then, it's sort of like it's in the game. It's meant to be there. Cheesy. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess cheesy could be the could be another word for it. Because so. there definitely are things in games sometimes that are super unfair. Yeah. Yeah. I would not say waiting around the corner for somebody to walk into you is unfair because there's a counter to that, right? With the shotgun. Like I just. Check your corners. Be much more <laughs> careful. Like, understand that you can't just press W all the time. This is this is true. Because sometimes you'll press W, and even with your amazing mechanical skill, you won't have the opportunity to click their head because they just need to single click to one shot. But I think even then, I don't think Boise State is uh, is going to develop back into those into a bad habit here. Really, just oh, absolutely. Oh! Ooh! Ah. Rihanna actually is going to lose that duel that to Thought in the room. Fantastic job there. Albany, though, they only have one member up of up against three of Boise State finest Boise State's finest Valorant players here. Oh no! The Ville oh. has been cornered. The team flash there was uh, was pretty big there. I did like that use of the uh, Euro flash for the teammate for Danny. So you know. Definitely some impressive team play that Boise State is seeing uh -huh. here. Which is, yeah, which is sort of, and it's it's uh, it's exciting to see this as well. Because even putting themselves out of their own comfortable element, it's nice to know that they can uh, that they can play as a team like this. Because going forward in this uh, in the tournament as well, we're going to want to see that. They're going to have to adapt to a lot of different situations. Albany is not going to be the only team they play here. It looks like Albany is kind of Boise State 3-0. What does that mean in terms of eco? Uh, it means BSU is, is completely in the advantage right now, and Albany is not. We do have a little bit of Lurk. We do have that 5 stack B. Only one holding it. They did expect the B push pretty heavily. The Euro Clone is going to catch multiple there. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Picking up three. Only one left. So the tower is not going to get it. Gotta say, the Euro clone really set Ririana there to take them all out. Oh yeah, they they lined up. Yeah, they lined up like a like a pair of ducks. Does look like as we go around here, round four and zero. Oh, this is when you started like, mm, yeah, Boise State is probably gonna snowball this, and it looks like we're seeing it again. Is there anything Albany can do to stop it? Um. I guess, you know, besides, you know, the, the common, you know, the common of just like click heads, which is heads, uh, yeah, gotcha. so, so much easier said than done. But I think I think it really is that they need to be officially trading. Here off of another one. They know they probably can't win. Oh, Ooh. it's just like that. This guy's acting like a Euro clone. It isn't going to get any value out of it. They do know one was towers. It does look like they're kind of... Oh! We missed that snipe there just barely, but we're going to see that one. Sky's taking him out on that Euro. Now this is still a 2v2, though. Is Albany 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 now it's a 2v1, and Boise State knows where that final member of Albany is. Oh! Both the members of BSU were pretty low. That was the closest chance that, uh, that the Chamber had to clutch up there. But unfortunately, he's not going to get it. Acting as a Euro clone twice ended up did getting value out of it the second time around, but that was really well played on their chamber. Getting those two—that's what they need. They need those players. They need two players that are gonna get a two and a one piece to give their team that hope to carry out and get the trades. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit more about Euro as an agent, just because their whole thing is mind games yes. and things like that. What what mind game do you think Boise State is playing? And do you think Albany's like responding, falling for it? Yeah, the sending out that Euro clone and uh, using your audio cues are definitely a pretty big thing here. And uh, we saw it from last time around 
an exchange where Yana's gonna get one, keep pushing forward. Doesn't look like that much is going to come out, so Daimyo is able to get that elimination there. Boise stay up one. No, more than that. Now up two, three. We're still going. Now we're just hunting down the solo Sova. Fanciful Muffin didn't last very long, but I mean, again, no, B went, no BM. That was a 1v4. That was a 1v4. There's no, yeah, there's no way, especially when the Euro ulti comes out. Yeah, you can't do much about it. But speaking on that, yeah, I think Euro is that agent that plays a lot of mind games. Baiting out as a clone, using the real clone that gives the flash, and then the next round coming out as a fake, and they might not shoot at you, and then just popping that 90 degree flick and clicking heads. It's definitely, it's a fun character if you can effectively use it. Definitely a character that I think, do you think Euro falls off or gets better at higher levels of play? Um, both, weirdly. <laughs> both both. Because you expect. Because, like, you, you expect, here's, here's a, here's a bit. you expect high level, high level players to not shoot the clone, but the thing is, they're going to shoot at anything that moves most of the time. And a high level player is going to throw it in a position that, oh, wow. Oh, 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 Mariana on that jet. Fantastic job there. That was I, an honor to watch. Ooh. Ooh. But not more Leo. Jet diff was coming Leo out there. Leo did the same thing. <laughs> Rihanna there. Oh no. The crouch lower the head. Ooh. And it just did not reset the aim. Panked a little bit and just did not, did not recontrol the recoil there. If they would have just slowed down for two seconds, they would have reset and uh, one more body shot would have ended skies. So could have been on a three piece there. And you know. Those are several Boise State's finest there that uh -huh. just got eliminated there. Fantastic job by Leo. Those so, by Riri Onwards. do you think that Leo is kind of the hope that Albany might need here? After that, yeah. Their, their Chamber and Leo, their Sky, is probably going to be their, their top pick, the people they're probably depending on to get those pieces. Oh, oh just as I say that, Zai's going to get one the off. But now you the big thing play, is don't just play. get one. You can't you can't expect your top carries to just get one and that's be it. Everyone needs to be neutralized. Everyone needs to do something. Everyone. And you know, Leo was just Everybody taken out. Well. As well as the rest of the team in pretty short order after that. Bill is cornered, very scared, doesn't quite know what to do. Oh, one. Got one? Good, good, good. Oh. Not gonna be able to get the rest of them. That box is it can be shot through, so it might not be the safest piece of cover for you. Are there any particular players that you'd maybe like to see more from? On what side? On Albany's side? Uh, yeah, on Albany. I would say Boise State's putting in some work, 8-0. and zero. I don't know that there's anybody that could be doing more here. Yeah, you know, Fanciful Muffin definitely going 0-8 and eight is uh, not only demoralizing as, a, as, as yourself if you're in that position, and you might not be very confident going into the game, but it's also very demoralizing for your team way. as well. Definitely, because even just like one or two, we saw several members yeah. there with two. Even just getting two, I gotta say, as we go in with Fanciful Muffin getting eliminated first, I think that is one of the, that is not actually the biggest problem that Fanciful Muffin is having. Ooh. I would say that they're mostly just not being in aggressive. They're not really in positions where they can get any eliminations or anything that like that. So we don't really know their ability to click heads or anything like that. Enemy uh -oh. We don't mark those oh. six bodies, though. That one in one situation, zero and nine, and yeah, it, it, does, it, takes, it takes a lot of bit of everybody to get there. And they have been playing very defensively here, which is sort of the reason why but it has been sort of working out for them in the case of getting their ones. But as I've been stressing over and over again, it's, it's so much more important they just to, than to just get your one, especially in the losing situation. You need to get your one plus times two times three, right? You know, you need to be you need to be way more active as a team and as an individual. Yes, I do need to say I do need to say that some of these members that are reliably getting the single picks, I there are many that are getting one, and I think that is. One of the problems that we're running into. So that clone go out. It looks like Boise State just starting straight up up two. Ooh, that pinch. Ooh, now still up two, even as the trade comes out. 
was in a very advantageous position. Uh -oh. Because at this down. point, they can yeah. still afford to just trade and win. They probably don't want to, but with your 9 and 0, everything's already in your favor anyway. So you can afford to kind of drop some resources here. Oh. The flash coming out. Oh, he's gonna get one. Oh, oh. oh no. Whoa! Wow! Albany's gonna go ahead and take their first round off of Boise State. Now, with a record like one and nine, what do you think Boise State did wrong there? Uh, you know, as that, you know, they've been they've been steamrolling through this through last game and this game. So, I think they've been playing Anything. very uh, trying new strats, so to speak, and they're playing aggressive here. And I think we just get caught in a position. This spot was almost perfectly, and we actually see their chamber go from one side of the map to the other, which is what we haven't seen this chamber do at all, which is sort of what chamber is supposed to be able to do to be that unpredictable force in terms of where they're going to peak. And that's the first time we've seen it happen, so I think that's what BSU wasn't expecting. Calculated! They got two, two, uh, well, I mean, two complacent, that's the word that I'm looking yes. for. They were too complacent in the chamber always being in one position and not teleporting, Ooh. and then they weren't ready. He finally did. Oh. Ri Rihanna's ready, though. Bah! They know the chamber. Oh! The guy's gonna pick up one very low. Ooh. He's gonna pick it up, though. Still ready. 19 Amazing. HP, though. Gotta get that one shot. If and there, They get it. Ri Rihanna is... On top of it right now. Fantastic. Just the flicks are amazing. The insta kills are amazing. Last we love to see it. The switch. 29 HP, you know, you're getting value out of it. Just getting the one and then kind of dying off from there. 20 HP, nobody can blame you. But picking up a three, an almost three piece, and, you know, there is it. I would not be surprised if uh, Reround is on top of this leaderboard right now. So, honestly, if you get one with 29 HP, you have asserted your dominance as a player, yes. right? Yes. But then to get the two and three, you're just getting like closer and closer to God. <laughs> the more eliminations you get at 29 HP. And they're feeling good. They know that they know their momentum's up. I don't even get the point blank lucky shot. Backlash going through, not gonna get it, gets partially blind. So isn't quite aware of the second one. This might work in Ottoman's favor though. So they don't see him. This thing goes, yep, he's going to be going down pretty soon. He's going to get it. Took him two shots this time. Barely out of range of that one shot. And now there is just the chamber, and it doesn't look like he's pulling any tricky teleport. Oh, oh my gosh, he doesn't need to pull tricky teleport strats. That second shot was wow. so on target. I don't know how that didn't hit. They were there. This Switch chamber, inside. we're seeing all sorts of unexpected things from them on the side of Albany there. But oh, yeah. 1 to 11, now's the time. If Albany needs to do anything, yep. it needs to be what, it, what, what are they going to do? And perhaps that, that side swap is sort of what they need to reset in terms of, and maybe they, maybe they feel a lot more confident on Fracture in terms of attack. They definitely have the team comp to do it. They just, they, you know, I'd say at this point, you know, try your best, get your picks, and then on that attack, get that quick mental reset. You know, the timer goes from 25 seconds to 35 seconds, so you get that time to, to, re, to restake it. So in this buy phase, is there anything kind of like standing out to you? No, ultimates are there to be used. I mean, all they do doesn't have anything to kind of turn this around. Where do you expect the push to happen going in? It looks like they're going A. Thought is going to take out Skies, and then they're immediately going to trade immediately after that. Rihanna's gonna get that elimination, but Ed, the trade is gonna come out after that. Oh! Alden's just gonna go ahead and get Fanciful Muffin there on that Sova. It looks like they're kind of peeking the corners. Neither team has really found each other just yet. Yeah. Ooh! Gonna, ooh. gonna miss two, that only, first shot, but. Only two left in the chamber. Still knows that they're there. Right, is trying to set up for something, kind of trying to weaken the box. Oh. Wow, j -Max just going to they put you to the same corner, eliminate them both right around there, and eliminate oh. them on the other corner. Tried to mix it up, could not do it fast enough. That is Boise State going to be able to defuse the spike in time. j -Bag with a clutch. I would describe that as a clutch. I, yeah, I think that would be a clutch. They are all huddled up. They are all huddled up there. Uh, and j -Bag's just going to take point. absolute advantage of that. There was that one of one situation there. Which pills around is about as close as they're going to get to it. So they have they have a pretty big chance here now. But like you said, 
it's 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 do or do not here. Right. Yes. This is the final round they have to make anything work here. One to twelve. What do you say? What do you think they're gonna go in and try to do? I think play that same aggressive mentality. You know why not? You've been doing that. You've been doing that on a on attack. Why not? Why not be aggressive here as well? They're feeling confident. They're feeling they're feeling good about it. It does look like everybody's going to go ahead and zip line to that other side. There's a push A. Ooh. Leo's going to take out J Mac. That is Boise State. Down one going in here for down oh. two. Albany is definitely coming alive on this point A here. Boise State, the remaining members kind of spread out. We have one A, one mid, one B. Boise State is kind of trying to figure out which point they want to go to here. Ririana getting caught off guard on the zip line. Not able to, not to give it a good, good Last foothold. It's going to fall. That's wow. what happened. It is one. Wow. The wow, Boise State just got flawless. The flawless coming out. Wow. Fantastic job on Albany. I mean, this is do or die. And I guess that's when Albany is strongest, 2 to 12. They still have a lot of ground to make up, though. It's do you a, think yeah. the eco is more in their favor now? In their favor, yes, in terms of what they can buy. They're probably getting heavy shields now. Uh, st sticking with the Spectre, you know, that's probably what they're going to end up doing here. And as we can kind of see on the UIs, they do end up having heavy shields. So the Econ is definitely in their favor now, but I don't think Boise State is so far out of eco range that it's like they have a gun advantage. It's still super early, but, you know, Albany's been doing really well with these uh, with these little weapons. Now it's Boise State up to saying, all right, Spike down, you know, B. we're going to do this. So like as we go around here, Rihanna's going to go down, but so is thought immediately after that. Boise State now up three, just the solo Sova. They're going to take down Aldim. And then Boise State now up two. Boise State are Defendant just going to go ahead and win. take that with three remaining. And since that is map number two, Boise State is going to be the winner of our first qualifier in week one against Albany. But Albany definitely, like, the longer we played them, the more they made us work for it. Oh, yeah. Do you have any big takeaways from that match? I think they played really well going into it. I think they did. Uh, sort of sort of astounding. That evolution they played with was very well played. And I think they did thoughtful throughout it. And the, uh, the Idaho Army National Guard is a proud supporter of Boise State Esports. Top plays are presented by the Idaho Army National Guard, who invites you to take your impressive critical thinking skills into real time. With more than 10 jobs offering a $20,000 bonus and your degree of choice paid for, the Idaho Army National Guard is the best team out there. Reach out on Twitch at iGuardGaming. So, sorry to cut you off there. I mean, oh, no. but there's definitely more takeaways that we have. Is there anything Boise State you think could maybe improve going forward? Uh, I think I think there they did they did well. I think there was nothing from from my perspective at least that was something that I saw that was so glaring that it was like, okay, this is something that needs to be addressed. I think they did everything well. I think they played like a team and it was also pretty great to see them go out of their comfort zone and play a different character or role that they quite really aren't used to. So I think Boise State did uh did well on their part. Definitely improving some skills in other places, getting some of those agent swaps that we don't really see a lot of these players playing could potentially get practice enough to be pulled out later on in the qualifiers, which could give Boise State a massive, unpredictable advantage. Is there anybody that you'd like to highlight maybe for player of the game, just as we get into that discussion? Uh, Ri Rihanna. Ri Rihanna. Ri Rihanna, and uh, I'm, probably, I'm probably horribly butching the name, uh, the chamber for Albany. Zai, I believe it was, uh, and probably J-Bag. J-Bag's judge plays were pretty big. Dude's I have to say, J-Bag was, I really got to say, super strong in the early yep. game. So we're seeing lots of this, the 6 and the O, oh, the close quarters, the early game, stuff like that. But I really, I think Ri Rihanna was overall, like, more late game and overall more consistent, especially with the flicks as we see them appear on screen as well. Oh, well, they did, J-Bag. Do it for Rihanna. And it looks like we're trying to find out who maybe our third in the running is here. It These flicks were nasty. These flicks were so nice. They were so good. This and one then, was. Oh, yeah. They weren't even ready. They turned around just in time to look death in the face there. And then Aldim there as the third member. We definitely saw a lot of consistent high-level play from them, right? Oh, yeah. Like, we see them constantly getting the eliminations. They were usually the one that took us up one or up two. Mm-hmm. 
kind of like taking space and providing opportunity for everybody else on their team. And you see through that Viper wall, they were able to just take people out. Mm -hmm. And our ICCU player of the game, it does look like we do have those three. Of those three, yep. is there any, like, are you still going to go with Ririana? Uh, you know, actually, I'm going to change I'm gonna change my vote to J-Bag. Just because I think, I think J-Bag did play very effectively and knew what to do close quarters-wise. I think... Uh, J back saw a pattern and followed that pattern, and just it kept working out. Kept working out for him. So I think I think he's gonna deserve the player of the game here. I'm gonna go with Rihanna for the flicks. Not gonna lie to you, yeah. it was real nice. I just have to say, hey. it does look like it's gonna be J bag. So we could talk a little bit more about how amazing a player they were. But before that, the player of the game is brought to you by Idaho Central Credit Union, who believes a great player makes a team more successful, just like Idaho Central's helping members achieve financial success. J bag is the Idaho Central Credit Union player of the game. Did amazing close quarter plays, especially like kind of in the early game. So we see mm -hmm. lots of like. These are these are the six O rounds. I would definitely say J Bag is part of what helped Wizzy State kind of snowball and roll so hard. Oh yeah, not on, not only these judge plays are not only a uh, morale booster to your team, but they're a uh, they're a demoralizer for um, <laughs> for the other team. You know, when you get a three piece on on a on a judge, it, it's it's very much a ah, you know. But we'll go next time. But J Bag was was that essential player that they needed. It's very much nasty when you get the three piece with the judge. Like, right. mm, your team's feeling great, you're feeling great, and the enemy team's like, ah, how do we let that happen? Do you yep. have any final thoughts just about week one qualifiers, Boise State versus Albany? Uh, Boise State versus Albany, uh, week one, that's about as it gets. You know, like we said, week one, as we get through these, these weeks, we're going to uh, end up encountering harder opponents and tougher ones that we're going to adapt to uh, quicker and kind of as analyze ourselves a lot more going forward. So I think week one, obvious success for Boise State. Uh, but Definitely. You know, we're going to we're gonna cross our fingers and hope on till uh, week two presents itself. Great. And, you know, just like you call back to what you said at the beginning, really need to manage that uh -huh. mental state, right? Yep. Like rolled first round. It's just going get, to keep getting harder from here. Got to make sure you're, you stand proud and you know what you can do, but don't get too far on your high horse. However, we do have some amazing top five plays, and our top five plays are presented by the Idaho Army National Guard, who invites you to take your impressive critical thinking skills into real time. With more than 10 jobs offering a $20,000 bonus and your degree of choice paid for, the Idaho Army National Guard is the best team out there. Reach out to them on Twitch at iGuard Gaming. And from all of us here at Boise State, be sure to join us once again for more Overwatch, Overwatch action here tonight. It looks like they're not going to be able to, to great effect for th thought there. Not happening. j -Bag is planting the spike. And at this point, Albany's just trying to get on to try to defend. The teams know where each other are, but Boise State, I think, is much more ready for this engagement. Gunville is going to get it. It's a three-piece coming. No BM for losing that. Unless you have something that can just insta-KO somebody. Yeah. Because, you know, that's all it's going to take to insta-KO. Ooh. Looks like Damio's gonna start off strong on this guy. He's doing a fantastic job. It looks like as we go in, now Abdim is the one getting all of the elimination. One. Zai was low, and it, it's just they're falling like stones now at this point. Boise State with the uh, with the ghost is absolutely deadly. You talk about that that one shot potential. Putting a ghost in each one of these players' hands is that much stuff. And they've definitely worked really, really hard and snowballed a lot to get to this point. Oh no. Any advantage right now? And all we need is not. We do have a little bit of lurk. We do have that five stack B. Only one holding it. They did expect the B push pretty heavily. The Euro coin is going to catch multiple there. Ooh! 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 Picking up three. Only one left. So. The ult popping out very early. Not even on site, but close to it. And he's going to pick up one. Sigging TP here. Pops out. It's gonna get Bill. Has the judge and get more. Sorry, Gets kid. two. Has the possibility to get three here. Peaks. Thinking about it. 